Hello, music bear here with a little quickie. Um, what we have here is a situation where uh, a user wants to have recording inside uh, Beat and Bass Editor. We don't have recording transport inside Beat and Bass Editor, but we can do something well similar. Um, first, we're going to set up some. Um, events here so when I play this it goes like <coughs> so that's one bar and um, yeah good enough um, then we go to this here because we want to have a, a possibility to um, to to uh, add uh, kick notes, uh, kick events, when they're not notes, um, over let's say sixteen bars, right? Sixteen bars. So that's one bar. I'll go to this button here and click that. Then it's uh, two bars. Click it again. Then it's four bars. Click it again. Then it's eight bars and one more is 16 bars so now we have 16 bars ready um, if only we could record in it but we can't but we're what we can do is that we can now insert this here that is for our 16 bars and then we have an instrument here it doesn't have to be this instrument uh, the same as in the in in the um, uh, beat and bass editor, it doesn't have to, but well, mm, it is. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, enable that uh, guy there, and then I'm gonna open this piano roll here. Now, if I choose transport and record notes, say record notes from MIDI device piano while playing song or BB track. It does say or BB track, right? So, um, clicking this, I then have to see here, now I'm playing in that instrument there. So I'm gonna click here, it will play back from the clean and bass edition. That was 16 bars, but this is in in uh, song editor, right? But I wanted it to be in uh, beat and bass editor. Well, that's easy because I just go in here and say copy. Then I go to beat and bass editor. There, and then I go to here and I say insert, paste actually. So. Now I paste what I just made here. I can remove that now. And when I then play this pattern, <coughs> now it is. I repeat that for as many time I want. So that's how to get a manual recorded uh, um, piece of percussion into beat and bass editor and have it in the same beat and bass line, because that's really what we want um, to, to do. It, it is as if we had recorded it inside beat and bass editor. We haven't, we have recorded it um, with um, uh, a, a normal piano roll but it doesn't matter um, because uh, uh, it will be the same thing. One thing I forgot, and that is pretty important actually, and that is when I do record this here, when I do record it, um, 
here. Remember to do that. Never have it here on uh, uh, Q116 because then it will quantize and um, not follow your um, uh, tapping on the key. Uh, so you have to put it here. Uh, bah. One second, I have to move this window now. Whoops. You have to put it here at uh, a whopping 1 over 192. Because if you don't, um, you won't have your timing. You would have a 16th, 1 over 16 timing. So do remember that. That's important. Sorry, I forgot that the first of all. Uh, but it is easy to forget when you record notes that you um, need to have the quantization to uh, 1 over uh, 192. The highest possible value is 1 over 192. We could have no c uh, quantization at all. We don't have that. We have that option. Yeah, and you can't hear the difference. Actually, you can't hear the difference. Well, that was just what I wanted to show here uh, because of a uh, question in form. Um, and you're welcome to ask uh, for anything in our form and also ask for a video um, if, if necessary. Yes, and um, that's all. Bye-bye. Uh,